Yesterday, liberals freaked out when I said on my show, and I quote myself here, the United States of America is the greatest, freest, fairest, least racist, most generous, welcoming nation and economic force for global good the world has ever known. And no amount of radical leftist revisionist history and hissy fit riots can change that. Now, as always, I would never make a claim without the proof, the data to back it up. So here you go. America is the greatest nation on earth. We're gonna go through this point by point. Here's why. The US is both the freest and fairest nation on earth. The founding documents and principles on which our nation was built acknowledge, and I quote, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they're endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, end quote. As a nation, we have not always perfectly applied these truths, but when we don't, we try again, always acknowledging that individual rights are sovereign and government serves only to protect those rights. And no other nation on earth better protects every person's inherent right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness better than the US. The US is also the least racist nation on earth. Yes, the US will always have the stain of slavery in our history, but the founders of our nation, including Patrick Henry and Thomas Jefferson, hoped the evil of slavery could be abolished in the wake of the Revolutionary War. In fact, Thomas Jefferson included in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence a paragraph decrying the evil of slavery that was imposed on the American colonies by the British Crown. And yes, Jefferson did own slaves himself, and that was immoral. But Jefferson also wrote the document that codified into law the idea that all men, regardless of their race, their skin color, their religion, their heritage, etc., were equal. Slavery was then abolished less than 90 years later because of the Founding Fathers' ideals codified into the supreme law of our land. Subsequently, here we are, 240 plus years later, and despite that stain of slavery in our nation's history, America has done more than any other country to abolish slavery and racism. And racism is now almost universally rejected in America by nearly everyone. Legally and institutionally in the United States, it's now illegal to discriminate against any person based on the color of their skin. In addition, the World Values Survey found that US residents as individuals were among the least racist on earth. This, by the way, was reported by the Washington Post. The US is also the most generous nation on earth, and it's not even close when you look at charitable donations and foreign aid. The US, and this includes people, foundations, and companies, donated $410 billion to charity in 2017. According to Gallup, that is, quote, about 2.1% of its own GDP. In fact, the amount Americans donated was more than the entire GDP of all but about 40 countries in the world, end quote. According to the World Giving Index, in the U.S., 7 in 10 people consistently donate to charity. 6 in 10 give cash, and 4 in 10 give of their own time. In addition to personal charity, the U.S. government, which means you and me, the taxpayers, gave $40 billion in foreign aid to more than 100 countries around the world. The U.S. is also the most welcoming nation on Earth. According to the U.N., the United Nations, the U.S. welcomes the highest number of immigrants and refugees every year. And subsequently, our population is composed of the largest number of foreign-born people compared to every other country. That number of foreign-born people in the U.S. was 48 million in 2015. The US is also the greatest economic force for good that the world has ever known. Why? Because of our capitalistic free market economy. Capitalistic free market economies, as we have in the United States, have lifted more people out of poverty in the 20th century than any other economic system in the history of the world. In the year 1820, 94% of the world's population lived in poverty, 84% living in extreme poverty. By 2011, 191 years later, only 24% of the world's population live in extreme poverty. What changed between 1820 and 2011, you might ask? The Industrial Revolution, of course. The onset of global trade, free trade, thanks to the United States of America. The best place to live if you want to know that you have the freedom, the liberty, and the opportunity to be as successful economically as you want based on how hard you work. And it doesn't just benefit people in our country, it benefits people all around the entire world. 
The United States of America is the greatest nation the world has ever known, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.